Hey everybody, this is Ed, the audio nut and radio amateur W8EDW. We got a good day finally. Birds are singing, the sun's out. So I thought, what the heck, it's a great day to bring the screwdriver antenna out that has the unique radial system that I designed and give it a try, make sure it works. But you can see my backyard is a postage stamp. We've got uh, a lot of things going on back here as far as plants and landscaping, stuff like that. I do have a patch of green here and that's where I'm going to put the uh, antenna. So we're going to start getting that together and uh, show you guys how it works. So being in the audio business, I decided to utilize one of my speaker stands as a mount uh, for the screwdriver antenna. And that's why I described in one of my other videos the uh, antenna mount uh, designed to go onto a speaker stand. And uh, so that's what we're going to set up first. We're going to set up that and then uh, going to put the antenna together and mount that on top of that. So there's the antenna. It's the screwdriver made by uh, Alpine, which unfortunately he's out of business. He's not making them anymore. But I bought this thing, gosh, probably 10 years ago. And uh, I attached a CB whip on top of the antenna there. It's 109 inches long. And that's what we're going to use to radiate the signal. And then at the bottom, of course, uh, is this system that I designed for radials. It uses extension cords for the radials. And uh, if you're not familiar with that, uh, you'll have to take a look at one of my other videos that explains how we built this uh, mount and also the uh, box that we use for uh, plugging the extension cords in that become radials. There's the antenna mounted on the stand and uh, you can see the speaker mount that I used. Uh, I have another video that explains how we mounted everything to the speaker mount. Uh, we got the bow in here and then the electrical box that uh, is, is uh, what I'm going to plug all my extension cords into that are going to become the radials for this antenna. So the next step is going to be to wire that stuff up and uh, get some coax run over to the uh, operating position. Also I have to run uh, a line for the controller. So here's something funny. When I came out to shoot my video it was perfectly quiet back here in the yard and the minute I started shooting it seemed like every neighbor around the area came out to mow their grass and then I've got somebody down the way trimming something so anyway hopefully you can still hear me um, anyway got everything hooked up I do have the the uh, controller hooked up over there uh, my coax is in and uh, all the radials uh, if you can see them coming out of the bottom of the the box there. Those are my four radials. Uh, I've got a couple of them running that way to the corner of the yard um, and a couple over this way as well. And those are the, these ones are the like 25s. And then this one over here is my long one. That thing runs 100 feet back towards the pines there. So um, got plenty of radials out. So that'll be helpful on the grounding system. So we're in the shack and I'm deciding that I want to take my ICOM 7300 uh, here and uh, put it in the to-go box, the battery operated box. That's what I'm going to run the screwdriver with. So um, getting ready to tear that down and then we're going to put it in the to-go box. I put my equipment in an equipment rack, a standard 19-inch uh, rack, uh, and I used rack shelves. These metal rack shelves go in there. But uh, my equipment's not really racked in. It's just sitting on the shelf. So um got to tear this guy down. We'll end up just taking the mic off first, I guess. And then I've got enough room I can actually just lift it up like this and I try to not scratch it up while I'm doing it 
but uh, here's the back of it and uh, made everything fairly easy to get off uh, the antenna coax here get it off first maybe <laughs> it doesn't want to come off try it again here a lot more threads on there than I thought uh, the power cable I've got uh, power pole strip back here in the back I just plug this into it, it makes it handy all my stuff is on the power pole stuff so they all go into that strip this connector here was going to my computer it's uh, so that I can operate my uh, my radio remote if I want to um, the wire right here this connector is the uh, key so uh, straight key and then I've also got a paddle key and the uh, plugs in there this right here is the control wire that goes to the linear to key the linear when I push to talk on the radio and then this connector is for the speakers and uh, have kind of a cool speaker set up you come out of this it goes down to a subwoofer it's on the floor and then the subwoofer has two satellite speakers and that's uh, the one sitting up here on top uh, and it gives you a real nice sound real nice audio so that's the setup I got it torn out and uh, now got to put it into the co-box so I dimmed the lighting down intentionally because I wanted to show you guys this uh, control center it's kind of cool how it lights up I'll turn this on here and you can see that um, that's the indicator light for it and then over here is my voltage and it actually is 4.1 volts um, and uh, that, so that just helps me monitor everything and uh, let's see if the radio will fire up yeah so there's the radio coming up and uh, the white balance is kind of whacked out because it's so dark in here but uh, I wanted you to see that I thought it was kind of cool so um, let me finish putting this together. So there's what the light's back on. I don't know, maybe uh, the other way uh, was a little too dark. But uh, anyway, that's how it's going to sit in there. And uh, the um, when I pack it up, I always unhook everything. So I'm going to shut the power off here. And I'm going to pack it. I just wanted to test it, make sure the battery was still fired up and uh, had plenty of juice. But this guy just slides back in here like this. So it's like that. Wire down in here. And microphone. We'll go over here in this slot right here. And we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to close this. And now we're ready to go outside and hopefully make some noise on the antenna. So here's the setup in the to-go box. And uh, I brought out my uh, large metered SWR bridge so that way we could look at that easier than trying to look at the SWR on the uh, ICOM. And uh, so basically, I ran the coax out, and I ran the control line out to the antenna. And then, of course, the antenna has the uh, radials that are made from extension cords. So uh, I've got my 100-footer in there, and I've got two, I've got three 25-footers in there. So we're going to fire it up and uh, see if we can tune it up. So the way I dialed in the uh, screwdriver was started at the bottom, I ran it all the way down to the bottom and then uh, turned the receiver up so I could hear the noise and then uh, advanced it along until I saw a peak in the noise and then I knew it was in the ballpark. Uh, then I switched to Ritty and uh, backed it down to about 10 watts or so 
and uh, watched it on my SWR meter over there and uh, got it pretty close about a 1.5 to 1 or so and uh, was pretty excited about the first contact it made on it with Italy pretty amazing and then uh, I talked to a guy in Maine right after that so it's definitely getting out and the uh, extension cord radials uh, definitely seem to be working so nothing is ever perfect either as I started adjusting it up and down it kept sticking and I'm like what the heck is causing that um, so I had to actually uh, take it off the stand and and uh, oil it and all that and uh, but anyway the other thing that I did it has an ice protector on it which is a piece of plexiglass um, it's a plexiglass tube you know this just slips down over the antenna and then it has uh, some screws here at the end that uh, attach it and then of course the whip uh, comes out of this hole here but uh, I took this off and uh, it's, it didn't stick as badly so I figured this way I'm not going to be out in ice and snow with it anyway um, not going to be on the back of the car so uh, I took that off and then it seemed to work pretty darn good so I'm, I'm pleased with that yeah thank you thank you Michael thank you very much for station here about 73 from Italy good night Whiskey 8, Echo Delta Whiskey. Uh, whiskey 8, Echo Delta Whiskey 5-9. Thank you, you're 5-9 Columbus, Ohio. We are operating battery operated with a screwdriver antenna, Roger. Yes, very boy, it's very good stuff, we absolutely perfect. And we should have Alpha Lima. Near yeah, Rome Capital, over. Very good, okay, well, great. Thank you for the contact, W8EDW. 7-3. 7-3. I just fix the fox Screwdriver antenna with a battery. Go ahead. Yes, sir. My antenna has three element Kushcraft uh, beam Yankees and uh, 400 watt output. Do you hear that? Roger. Sounds very, very good. A uh, very good name here is Ed. My name is Ed Echo Delta. Roger. Yes, sir. Ed, uh, thanks. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, Thank you very much for short time contact. We're 73, 7 after we can say good luck today. Whiskey 8, Echo Delta Whiskey, Tango Alpha 3, Delta Echo. Roger that, 73, have a good week. Whiskey 8, Echo Delta Whiskey, uh, battery operated, screwdriver antenna, go ahead. Okay, W8, Echo Delta Whiskey, your 15, name is Volado, over. Roger that, you have a beautiful signal into Columbus, Ohio. Um, and uh, we're having some of good weather here today. Thank you very much for the contact. Good morning from Bosnia. This is Echo 70, thanks. 73, thank you. It's W8EDW, Whiskey 8 Echo Delta Whiskey. Just for a quick contact, I didn't mean to interrupt, but I'm operating on a battery and I have a screwdriver antenna in my backyard, so I just was trying to get uh, some kind of signal report. Go ahead. Oh, very good, uh, from Ohio. I have a brother-in-law in, uh, in Mason, Ohio. Uh, you're, you're booming in uh, on that screwdriver. I, I got a screwdriver antenna. <laughs> it's sitting in the, in the cellar here. I used to use on a Jeep, uh, you know, mobile, and, uh, and it worked pretty good because of propagation back in the, I don't know, back in, uh, I don't know, what year, 2000, or maybe a little sooner than that. Uh, <laughs> It, uh, going mobile, I get to talk to Australia on the way to work. But anyways, it's uh, your, your uh, S9, I almost, let's say, I think maybe hit 10 over, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, W-A-E-D-W, back to you. Really appreciate you guys watching the video, and uh, it was a fun day. That uh, antenna performed better than I thought it would. And uh, I think the next time I take it out, we're going to, try and find a re more remote area and see how it performs out in the middle of, uh, of a field or a woods, something like that. But anyway, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. We'll catch you on the next time. Have a great day.